What's up everyone? I just posted a video covering disassembly and reassembly of a 1911 or 2011 pistol. Someone left a great comment asking about safety and function checks. It occurred to me it might be a good idea to post a video about how to safety and function check a 1911 or 2011. I will link to a couple of good sources in the comments that I recommend checking out as well. Let's get into it. Obviously, make sure your gun is unloaded and safe. There are no magazines or ammo in your work area and always keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. Cock the hammer slowly. It should catch on a half cock or safety notch. Go ahead and push hard on the hammer and see if you can knock it off this safety catch. Cock the hammer all the way. Yank on that thing and make sure you can't knock it off the sear. Now, lock the slide to the rear and drop the slide using the slide stop. Make sure the hammer stays cocked. If there's weak sear engagement, this may cause the hammer to fall. Maybe only do this once or twice. It's not very nice to the gun, but your safety is more important. Hammer cocked, thumb safety off. Do not depress the grip safety and pull the trigger firmly, harder than you would to fire the gun a few times. The hammer should not drop. The grip safety physically blocks the trigger bow from moving to the rear and actuating the sear. I know some people like to pin their grip safeties on 1911s and 2011s, but this is about pistols with all their factory safety features intact and functioning. Grip the pistol like you normally would, depressing the grip safety with your palm and engage the thumb safety. Then pull on the trigger hard a few times. The hammer should not drop. The trigger should have a firm stop with no mush. The thumb safety physically blocks the sear from pivoting and releasing the hammer. Let's go ahead and check that the disconnector is disconnecting with both safeties disengaged. Put a little pressure on the trigger and bring it up to the wall before the break. Now pull the slide back about a quarter of an inch. The trigger should be dead. Go ahead and pull on it and see if the hammer drops. It shouldn't. I like to do a general function check of the trigger as well. Pull the trigger, drop the hammer, hold the trigger to the rear, cycle the slide, then check that the trigger resets properly like this. Your trigger should have a little take up. It doesn't have to be much, and it can be adjusted to the user's preference if your trigger has a provision for it, but there needs to be some. Make sure there's a little bit of light backwards movement in the trigger before it hits its wall and releases the hammer. Another thing I do is give the firing pin a little poke. It should move freely, but be under obvious spring tension. If the gun does not pass any of those basic safety and function checks, it's not safe to shoot. Do not load it. Do not shoot it. Take it to someone qualified to diagnose what is going on and fix it for you. I hope this was helpful. I recommend doing all these checks on any 1911 or 2011 you do work on, have someone else work on, or if the pistol's new to you, to make sure it is safe to use and functioning properly. Hell, it may not be a bad idea to do this periodically as the round count of your pistol increases. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.